Hey Thomas, my name's Tony. I'm right down here in Lakewood Ranch with a company called Groove Web Services. I came across your website earlier this week and saw some things that I wanted to just go over with you. Uh, what I want to do is give you three tips on how you can improve your online presence in a way that will actually help generate you some additional business via your website. This is a service I do for free for small businesses and small business owners. I'm not trying to sell anything. The only thing I ask is if you find the information useful, just hit reply on the email and let me know what you thought. Any feedback would be super welcome. So with that, I want to go over Google's three main ranking factors. Those are content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll start with content. So in Google's world, we say content is king. It's really the foundation of your website when it comes to um, the Google platform. And you know, overall, your website looks nice. Um, Google really values well-written authoritative content and a lot of it. And what we suggest is 1,500 words on a home page. And when I look at what you have, you're about at 434. So you need, you know, you need to triple that amount um, to get to that. Well, even a little bit more than that to get to that 1500 word uh, level. So got a little bit of work to do there, but it's not horrible. I've seen a ton worse. Um, the secondary factor behind having that much content is these kind of keywords like roofing Tampa. Uh, this is searched 300 times a month in Tampa. Um, so what you want is to have that phrase somewhere in your content here. Now you have this roofer in Tampa. That's a good example of a keyword being in your content. But I don't know if you have roofing Tampa, you know, roofing Tampa. So that's not there. And there's also roofers Tampa, which is another 300 word search. So moral of the story is the more content you have, the easier it is to get these keywords on so that you can actually be found when people do these kind of searches. Um, so what I want to do is compare this to one of your main competitors. So Westfall Roofing shows up in the first place in the organic listings here when I do this search. And um, oops, I did not mean to do a control find. Um, I want to copy their content here and see where they're at. So 750, not that much more than you. So you get to want 1500 and you're going to be doubling them up, uh, which would be great. So that's content. Next, we're going to go on to citations. So when I do this uh, search here, I get the Google uh, paid ads at the top. I'm not here to talk about those today. The area below here, though, is super important. This is called the map pack. And about 50% of the search volume itself is going to call or click one of these three uh, listings here. So it's important to be here if you're looking to drive additional business to your phone. Now, how do we get to the top here? That's something called citations. And that's your company name, address, and phone number out on directory sites around the web, like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Angie's List, Porch, Thumbtack, even Facebook. You get your company added to 10 to 15 of those a uh, week. And over time, your Google business listing is going to start rising in the ranks here, which is what you're going to want. The one thing to keep in mind is that consistency is key here. You want to make sure you're entering the data super consistent across the different directories. So below this, this is called the organic listings, and these are more affected by something called backlinks. And a backlink is nothing more than your company website address in a clickable format out on another website. It's essentially a vote for your website from that other site. The one thing to keep in mind is not all backlinks are created equal. Um, you want to get backlinks from trusted, authoritative websites, and if, you, if at all possible, websites that are in the same niche as yourself. So that could be another roofer's website, even if from a different state. If you know other roofers, you guys can actually trade backlinks uh, back and forth. And another idea is like a home improvement magazine type website. Often they have blogs. You can even provide these kind of uh, websites with uh, articles on roofing. You can do, so, you know, write a thousand words about some roofing topic, reach out to the owner of the website and offer them that, um, that article. And often they'll trade you a backlink for that so they can keep their blog active. So that's a little bit of a tip there for you. So that's content, citations, and backlinks. What I want to do next is take Westfall Roofing's website and put them here in this tool called AREFs. Um, this is a tool, a paid tool I pay monthly for. It gives us some really cool statistics and an insight about into what uh, approximately Google knows about a website. So these guys have 215 uh, backlinks for um, from about, I'm sorry, I'm being found about for about 1,900 keywords. Uh, that's getting them approximately 2,100 clicks a month. So if I click into their organic keywords here, Roofing Tampa is the one that I searched, is the first one that they're actually um, ranked for via, by traffic. 300 volume a month, they're in position one. There's some kind of bug going on here. This should be more like 70 to 80, um, or 80 to 90, I should say, uh, traffic or so a month. 
So we'll, we'll call it 80. So say they close 10% of that. That's, you know, eight new roofs or roof repairs, roof replacements a month off of one single keyword. And here's another roofers Tampa, another 300 words, um, position one they're getting about 63 traffic for. So add those two up. That's about 140. So you're talking about 14 new roofs, um, or roof repairs or whatnot a month, uh, free traffic. I don't know what that would do for you guys, but, um, I'm sure there's some, uh, there's a company out there that would take those for sure. So let's compare that to your site. And right now, I wonder if I should just take that whole URL. Um, let's see. Yeah. So no backlinks at all. Um, so at the moment you're, you're essentially not being found for any roofing related keywords. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the reason for that is. You obviously have some keywords on your homepage, um, unless this thing is brand new, because right now it looks like there's really no data. So if you're dealing with a brand new website, over time you're going to start seeing this tool will start populating data. But the fact of the matter is, is if you're not getting backlinks and citations to power that, that those keywords up, you're just not going to get any traction. So um, if it is a new website, um, starting to uh, throw some backlinks at it is going to help you out a ton with starting to gain some traffic online. Um, so that's all I've got for you today. Um, I hope this information was useful to you. Again, if it was, I would welcome any feedback. Just hit reply on the email. Um, hopefully I gave you some tools to help you help yourself, but obviously, you know, business owners are busy with their businesses. So if you're, if you're not inclined to do some of this stuff yourself, even though you see the value in it. This is what I do for a living. Obviously, I'd be happy to chat with you and see if I could be of service. Feel free to uh, either reply to the email or my phone number will also be in the email. I'd love to chat. So with that, Thomas, um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, bye bye.